Yeah. Okay, so we've um, we've positioned our object, the point of it, right on the edge of this viewing plane, and we've come back now 30 degrees on either side. The two edges are at right angles, and therefore they'll come back at 30 degrees. And in isometrics, you'll remember isometric projection. All the lengths are true lengths. So if we've got a 50 millimeter cube, which we're going to draw it means that we don't have to foreshorten the length as we come back from the viewing plane as we would in an oblique projection we just measure those dimensions straight off so there's one there's 50 millimeters on one edge and we'll do the same coming back on this other edge over here mark the 50 millimeter point with a dot and now I'm going to use my 3060 um, set square and just draw some construction lines going up now I'm not measuring, you notice these lines, I'm just drawing them lightly because later on I'm going to firm those in. Now we know that the, it's a cube so it's going up 50 millimeters as well on this side. So I'm going to measure 50 millimeters, make a mark, that's the, the end. Now it's important you get these marks right because when we come to, to measuring and um, working out our isometric circles, if the distances aren't accurate then the circle edges that you use with a compass won't line up. Now I've done a light construction line down there and I'm going to follow this construction line across using my 3060 set square and you notice now that I'm starting to get the shape. I don't have to measure this second distance, I can simply trace it down till I reach the front edge and then move it across using my 3060 set square. Now I'm going to do the same at the top, so this will be the back edge of the cube as accurately as I can and by flipping my set square around I can bring the 30 degrees across in the other direction and that should line up perfectly like that. Now these are light construction lines, we'll firm them in in a minute. Now there's our cube, so you can see edges to the sides here, front edges, the top edges. Now I'm going to show you how to do an isometric circle. Actually better, before we do that, let's firm these in. Now you can do this just by hand if you like, or you can use a set square. If you do it by hand, make sure that your edges line up so that you're tracing right over the top of your construction line and you're not creating a different shape that wasn't there in the first place. So firming those edges so now you can start to see the shape looking nice and bold, the outline. I'm doing this as I said without the use of the, the, um, the set square, the T-square, to um, because I want to make it quick because I don't want you watching for too long because I know that You'll have a thousand of things and you want to get in and do this yourself. So here we go, we'll do this fairly quickly. And down here. So there's my shape, there's only one more edge to do and that's the vertical edge. Remember in isometric drawings you don't show, usually don't show hidden detail. We leave that for orthographic projections or orthogonal drawing. So there's our shape. Now to do an isometric um, circle, it's a little bit more complicated but a lot of fun actually. We need to find the midway points. Now you can do this with a compass or you can do it just measuring. It's 50 millimeters, so 25 millimeters. I'm going to mark it here. Now, the beauty of tech drawing here is that you can use your set square to transfer that mark if you do it accurately all the way across, both vertically and horizontally. I'm going to use the 45 now just so I can move these halfway points. So that should now be halfway on this edge, on this edge, and down the bottom here as well. So you can quickly kind of move and mark out shapes and dimensions as long as you do it reasonably accurately. So now I've got halfway on all of these four edges. So I'm going to do the isometric circle on this top plane of the cube. Right, once we've done those halfway points, it's now time to join making light construction lines because we do, these things will be want to rub out, we don't want them to stick out too much. Light construction lines, we're going to create this shape where we join from the vertice of the square to the halfway point on the opposite edge like that. Now the reason we're doing that is because we need these points of intersection here for to create an arc and I'll, you'll see why in just a minute. So once we've done these, these little light construction lines we've worked out those points, it's time to bring into service our compass. Now I've used this compass here, um, you may be able to see the point often compass leads are sharpened with a chisel point so the chisel, the bevel of this chisel point points outwards and the flat surface is up against or closest to where the metal point is. That gives you a fairly sharp and accurate and long wearing edge. Okay, so that's how you should have your, your leads if you do have a chance to be able to do that. Okay, your first arc 
you're going to place your compass point um, right down, right on the corner of one of these vertices down in there. Okay, and then using your compass, gradually wind out till you just touch the edge of where that construction line hits the edge and it should be exactly the same spot on the other side so when you draw an arc like that you produce a nice arc that's neat that stays within the lines now it's not always easy to do this so if it doesn't work exactly right for you don't be discouraged um, first go sometimes it doesn't always work out for you but you should get the general gist so I'm going to draw the second arc now now they're the two larger arcs of my isometric circle. You can see it's starting to take place. To do the smaller arc, we're going to set the point of the compass right in the middle of that two construction lines that have intersected. I hope you can see that. Yeah, there. And wind the compass point in till the lead just touches the outer edge of that wide arc that we've done and it should match up on the other side. So when we draw our line, and it should come pretty close to joining together like that. Now, as I said, don't be disappointed if it doesn't join perfectly. Rome wasn't built in a day. Neither will your magnificent technical drawing construction necessarily always come out exactly right the first time you do it. Now, when you're using a compass, keep the weight on the metal pin and gently do several passes on the larger, on the the lead side of all the graphite side of your pencil and that's your isometric circle looking good isn't it now if you want to you can be a bit adventurous now I had a go at um, trying to shade this um, this cube I don't think it was very successful but you can see up here where I'm pointing to is my light source the light was coming from here and when you're doing shading think in terms of light the light strikes surfaces that are closest to it they should be lighter the surfaces that are further away from the light like the ones that I'm drawing around here the back of the square they should be it should be darker. So when you do your shading, keep the surfaces that, that come further away darker and the surfaces that are closer to the light lighter and you'll gain some more realism. Now little edges like edges that are right up close they should always almost be white. If it was a shiny object you see light glinting off these edges and of course I haven't shown that over here but you, I'm sure you'll be able to do a better job than me on that. So that's um, how to do your construct your cube and your isometric circle.